So this is our E128 mini project. It's working as a password door lock. So our keypad is working as our input and then it's our servo is acting as our door lock. And the LCD screen is um, displaying what is being shown. So right now we have our uh, password set as the default for one, two, three, four. So we see one, two, three, four, and that's shown. It shows that the door is then unlocked. And then after a certain amount of time, it automatically locks itself back. So in this, in this, we also have a password reset function. So this is where we uh, press this button four times. So on our indicator, it shows that after it's pressed four times, it tells us to type in our old password. It's one, two, three, four. And now we're in the setting to set the new password. And now we want it as A, B, C, D. So now it says the change is confirmed and that our counter is reset. So if we type in our new password now, a, B, C, D, our door will not unlock. And then after, it'll automatically go back. So we also added in a function where that if we don't, uh, after we press in a button and when we release it, then it will start a timer for five seconds. So let's say, uh, let's we press A. So this is our correct one. So it says that we've have our first uh, button shown. So once we see that she lets go of the button, um, there's a serial monitor displaying that the, a timer. So once the timer goes back uh, 5,000, which is five seconds, and she clicks another button, the serial monitor will show that it resetted and that you're back to the beginning of where the welcome screen is. We also have the added function of having it so that our current password is saved into our EEPROM. So if we unplug the power and then plug the power back in, it resets. And then let's see if the new password now, A, B, C, D. So it saves the old password and doesn't reset the new one. And yeah, that's our project.